the news Budare, Malaysia and uh, Abim and also the NGOs to uh, voice our message to the uh, Chinese uh, embassy that uh, we are Muslim, we are brothers, Muslim in Malaysia, Muslim in China, in Xinjiang especially, who are now under oppression, under torture by the uh, Chinese uh, regime, we are brothers. So this is our message. So we never, we will never keep silence of what happening to our brothers. And then uh, today's gathering is for us also to voice out our strong condemnation towards the uh, Chinese government uh, for, for what uh, they have done to our brothers there. We know that uh, actually our brothers in uh, Xinjiang and East uh, Turkestan is actually being tortured. Uh, they are actually being uh, gathered in uh, what we call as concentration camp or torturing camp. So we know that uh, the Chinese government is lying to the whole world where they say that uh, that is a re-education camp. But we know from the leaked document, from the leaked videos, the leaked uh, pictures, uh, we, can, we can see clearly in the internet that our Muslim brothers in Xinjiang are being tortured uh, very harshly by the communist regime in China. So this is our strong protest uh, today. Uh, and then also for us to show solidarity towards our Muslim brothers. Our message to our Muslim brothers in Xinjiang is that we will never keep silent. We in Malaysia, we take care of you. Even we are far away, but we share the same uh, creed, we share the same aqidah, we share the same uh, Islam, we share the same religion. And then we never, we will never ever uh, keep silent about the uh, torture, about the persecution uh, perpetrated by the uh, Chinese government towards our brother. So this is our message today. And then also, we uh, from uh, Muslim in Malaysia, Okay. We want the Chinese government, yeah, our message today is that, for them to immediately stop all the torturing uh, of our Muslim brothers and then release them immediately from this uh, concentration camp, uh, what they call as uh, concentration camp, or they call, what the Chinese government call as re-education camp. We don't uh, recognize that. So we want the Chinese government to release our brothers immediately and then retain their rights, especially their rights in practicing Islam. Because we know they are not allowed in practice Islam, as my brother said. So now, now we ask them to return all the Muslim rights in their <coughs> territories for them to practice the religion and for them to practice or to enjoy whatsoever citizenship rights in the uh, China itself. So this is our message to